Right, then, question number eight. Elizabeth thinks of a number less than 500. When her number is divided by five, it gives a remainder of one. When divided by eight, gives a remainder of four. When divided by nine, gives a remainder of nine. So this is the common supplement problem. You see, the divisor and the remainder, they have a fixed relationship. The divisor is always four more than the, than the remainder. So, okay, the difference is always four. So that means the common supplement will be four. Because if we add four to the number, so now when divided by five, the remainder will be five. When divided by eight, the remainder will be eight. When divided by nine, the remainder will be nine. Meaning that if we add four to the number we have, then we will get a number divisible by five, eight, and nine at the same time. So it means we will have a Lowest, a common multiple of 5, 8, and 9. Doesn't necessarily have to be the lowest common multiple. So 5 times 8 times 9. Again, they are uh, they don't have any other common factors other than 1, so it means they are co-primes with each other. And to find the lowest common multiple, the LCM, between the three numbers, among the three numbers, we just need to find the product. That's going to be 40 times 9, 360. And remember, this, we get the 360 by adding 4 to the number to get this desired number. So we added 4 to the number we have to get this 360. So the number we have is going to be 360 minus 4, 356. And it fulfills the requirement less than 500, so this is the correct answer.